6.5 million shillings. The DPP has directed the DCI to immediately arraign in court the seven individuals. The DPP says, and I quote, several individuals were unlawfully facilitated by the above individuals with air tickets and allowances to travel to Rio. As such, I have referred the matter to the Asset Recovery Agency for recovery of the same. End of quote. The DPP has directed further investigations on donations made to the National Olympics Committee of Kenya, NOC, and contracts between NOC and Nike, and utilization of monies realized therefom. Patrick Amimo, KTN News. The war inside the Independent and Electoral Boundaries Commission escalated on Saturday with the chairman of Chebukati coming out to explain why embattled CEO Ezra Chiloba had to go. Now, in a statement, Chebukati says the CEO's contract was terminated on Friday, 12th October, after Chiloba was found culpable of alleged procurement misdeeds by the internal audit report. Duncan Hamber with more details. The sacking of IBC's embattled chief executive officer Ezra Chiloba perhaps does not come as a surprise given the long-running battles with the commission's chair Wanyonyi Wafula Chebukati for almost a year now. On Friday evening, it is the youthful CEO who broke the news of his sacking by confirming that he had received a letter terminating his services at the poll agency. According to Chiloba, he had seen his sucking coming and that the probe process was just a mere formality. In his statement on Saturday, IBC chairman Chepkati states, and I quote, Chiloba was found culpable for charges arising from an internal audit report corroborated by the Auditor General's report on major procurements during the 2017 general election, the fresh presidential election, in addition to violation of sections of his contractual obligations, including failure to implement various commission and board decisions and resolutions. End of quote. He adds that twice the CEO failed to appear before the disciplinary committee to provide responses to charges leveled against him, and that Chiloba's gross misconduct, breach and violation of the commissions human resource and administration policies, as well as other relevant legislations, left the commission with no option other than terminate his employment contract. In his statement on 